Hi guys. I'm going to have another go at trying to take one of these faucet lights apart to get the little generator out from inside. If you saw my last video on the subject, I failed. So we're going to have another go and see if I learnt anything the first time. First thing is we don't need this little rubber seal and the gauze. That plastic bit comes out fairly easily. So we don't need that. And then this thing, I spent ages sawing the end off when all I really need to do is make myself a little hook. Wiggle it around in there a bit. And pull it out. So, that's the easy bit, getting that out. We're in macro mode now. My camera has a habit of suiting itself what it focuses on. But we're looking at the end of the assembly. This is the white resin that's sealing it all in place. That's the LED. And on the side here I can just make out, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's two wires just under the surface there. So we definitely don't want to cut down this side or we'll cut straight through those wires. There's a white bar goes across there. That's the printed circuit board that goes straight across the end of the assembly. And the LED is soldered onto that. There's also four diodes there in a rectifier bridge formation so that the current generated by the generator is rectified so we get DC current flowing through the LED. So the first thing I'm going to try is pushing a hot soldering iron into here see if that will break it down at all. So I've got soldering iron on, we'll give that a try. Well, it's making a smell. Probably end up burning my fingers. Looks like the heat of the soldering iron's having some effect. There we go. So you can see we've made some progress. Fresh batteries in the camera. I've also drawn a couple of lines there to remind me where those wires are by the edge. So I might be a bit more careful just there.
I can just about make out two tails sticking up, tiny little tails. So what's the chances of getting solder onto the end of those two tiny bits? Alright, let's find some wire. Let's see if we can put some tails on there. Okay, so we can clip the meter on there. What can we put on there to spin? What did I do with the original? Yeah, there it is. Right guys, I did a little bit more digging into the resin that was underneath the circuit board and I found two more wires sticking up. And if I spin the rotor in here using my magnet on a uh, old fan We're getting plenty of voltage out of there. Before I put the hot glue on it, I'll just do a close-up. So hopefully you can see that I've soldered two little wires there. complete the session I've made my own little rectifier bridge here with four diodes so we're on the 20 volt scale here now so if I just spin it by hand we're getting milli millivolts out of it if I use my portable fan that's got the magnets in the end of it and spin that to spin there not bad five and a half volts two AA batteries in there so that's three volts going in five and a half volts coming out obviously the current's different but I like that.